In this episode, we're exploring an asylum for the chronic insane that dates back to 1865. At the time, existing state hospitals were treatment facilities with the goal of returning patients back to regular life. This complex was the first in the state for those deemed incurable. Previously, the chronically mentally ill were heavily neglected at county almshouses, being chained and without bedding and clothing. Within days of admission here, patients were bathed, dressed, fed, and resting on the wards. By the 1900s, the state hospital was enlarged to include acute cases as well as chronic, and the census hit 2000. The hospital was closed in 1995 with the trend of deinstitutionalization, and the property was transferred to the Department of Corrections for use as a drug treatment campus for drug-related felonies. The main building has since been demolished, but we were able to explore some of the detached buildings that were used for housing patients and their attendants, as well as the morgue. Join us as we discover what remains. Helix Sleep, the sponsor of this portion of today's video, helps you get a well-rested night with their premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. Helix Sleep makes extremely comfortable fiberglass free mattresses that are delivered right to your door with free shipping in the USA. Everyone sleeps differently, and with Helix's quiz, you're matched with the mattress that best fits you. They have something for everyone, and if you sleep with a partner, you can take the quiz together. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Midnight. I'm a side sleeper and prefer a medium feel, something that's soft but still supportive. They also offer an optional Glaciotex cooling cover, which I opted for. It helps maintain the temperature of the mattress throughout the night. Over the past year, I've had better and more comfortable sleep than I ever had before, and it's just as comfortable as day one. The mattress is shipped in a box and is impressively compact. I was able to get the mattress into my apartment and set up on my own, and with only a few minutes, it was fully expanded and ready for a solid nap. This is the mattress I wish I could have when traveling, and while it is impossible to bring it with me, the first night back home always comes with a super restful and comfortable night's sleep with the Helix mattress. Also, to make sure you love it, Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial with a 10 year warranty with financing and flexible payment plans available. Upgrade your mattress with Helix. They have great New Year's deals available now with 25% off a Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Go to helixsleep.com slash proper people or click the link in the description below. This building is so cool. Look at this wall. This is the wall from upstairs. Yeah, this is one of the most dangerous buildings we've been in in a long time, for sure. Every single room has some kind of structural collapse. Oh, there's the prisoners. Like, this is the kind of building where you might not be able to explore it because of how collapsed it is. The prisoner transport just drove by outside. They're going by? Yeah. Like, you can't even go down this whole wing. Downstairs and upstairs, it's both collapsed all the way through. I think that's the exterior wall just gone, too. Yeah, this whole wing is a no-go, for sure. Yeah. Which is half of this building, unfortunately. Might be able to go outside and go back in somewhere else, but yeah. that's also risky because of prisoners driving by. Let's do this swing. They had minty green paint on the walls at one point. It looks a little better over here, but 
Even so, the floor is still collapsing. Oh, it's caving in slowly. I'm gonna stick It'll to the side one of these days. Let's see this crack. When the baseboards of the wall have a space between the floor and it, there's still some china intact. Oh yeah. This place is not vandalized. It's all natural. All this decay. The peeling paint is pretty crazy looking. There's like six colors. There's some old looking vacuums right here. The pastel colors of the vacuums and the paint. It's pretty cool. This room looks like one of the best, one of the best shapes we've seen so far, but the ceiling is starting, which means the floor above is probably not safe. You can see it bowing right in the middle. You could see it just cracked. If and you can see right through the floor. That's the hallway up Listen, there. Listen, I would be worried if there was just a snowstorm and there was like pounds of snow on top of this right now. Yeah. But since there's no I mean, snow right now, I feel like I we're see safe. all the way out yeah. to the sky. So there's a 90% chance this will only cave in when it gets a next snowfall on it, with all the weight yeah, on it. Yeah, for sure. This is the only spray paint I've seen so far on this computer monitor, which it's better there than on the walls. Oh, there's trucks right there. This place is wide shh, open. Shh, shh, shh. Prisoners. These are definitely just stored here. But oh, they shit, are there's Department a of Correction there. trucks. Something like sketchy. Right? Oh, this hallway is way better. Yeah, this is in much better shape. Still, I would watch your step. It's much better shape. Take turn, a look to the to left. Your left. <laughs> Into the basement from the top floor. Just collapse all the way through. this. There's a hospice chair down there. Oh, there's a hospice chair up there too. Look at that. How'd that get there? That must be from the floor above. The shadows are pretty nice. Nice hallway. Courtesy of an entire room being caved in. There's not even a window frame left. It's actually just right to outside. All there's left is a hallway, pretty much. All the rooms are gone. That's a lot of walkers. Oh, these aren't even walkers. These are like the portable toilet things. Looks like they fell through. This is crazy. The exterior walls are collapsing inward. And that's the second floor up there. And if you look down here, the basement tunnels or something have this the basement has these really cool archway supports holding up the walls. Which, the basement's completely filled with rubble from the top two floors now.
This doesn't look that good over this here. This looks modernized. Yeah, it looks like an extension. It's just filled with filing cabinets. I think these were the dressers that would have been in each patient's room. And um, we can't go down here. I mean, <laughs> that's collapsed. There's a bunch of chairs over there. It's chair just chilling city over there. when you just go through a doorway and you're basically just outside. The sounds I was hearing as you were walking above me, okay. the whole building was creaking. Wheelchair parts. Okay. There's a hole in every room. This building is beyond saving. It's done. It's like they're having a little meeting. <laughs> the TV. Yeah. Okay, here's the wing where the floor below us is all collapsed. Mm -hmm. How's it look? Fine. There's just more chairs chilling. But of course, all of these rooms are all the way through. That's a sketchy bit of floor. It's like a bridge. Stools just chilling.
the cars are in different places now than on Google Maps, so they're still somewhat used. I think these, that's just their snowplow truck, and then just a few extra vans. All right, let's try these stairs, see where they dump us out at. I think we'll be in the collapse, but yeah. we'll check. I see floor. Okay. It comes out right after it, wow. Yeah. Convenient. Lucky us. It's dipping down here. Yeah, the floor is no good. floor is sagging. This is questionable. What is this? <laughs> An accelerator? Well, it's holding the weight of all these chairs. What's a little bit more weight? This room's full of lamps. Can you see a typewriter back there? bridge upstairs. There's some cool stuff in here. An old workbench of some sort. Yeah, it's just some kind of storage compartment thing to transport stuff. CRT tester. Okay, so this is just maintenance stuff. Yeah, clearly just maintenance. It's just like all the green with the ice and the red bricks. I'm gonna see if we can get to the basement. The basement's gonna be filled with junk from every single floor. No basement. So, all those toilet seats downstairs, we're once up here. See if we can cross over to the other wing here. Get a nice shot of my ass. Ugh. Let's see what we got going on over here. Okay, you should go through first and then hold it for me. Bus came back. No, I didn't see it. Very green. Also very empty. Oh, here's the hallway. Okay. Also not great though. Better than the other one though, right? Not really. I mean, there's a staircase right here. We can go up. Wait, this goes up more? No, it's lights. gotta be just an attic. These old lights are really cool. This building's only two stories, I think. Can we cut this way? Just avoid the shit that looks like this? Let's see which way? way. That's just a room in there. Oh, that's the same room. Shit. We're 
kind of at a roadblock then, unless we want to risk our lives, which I don't. <laughs> this goes. Oh, here, it connects around. Oh my god, dude. But, I don't know if it's like, that's, I don't know what's behind that door, but I'm scared. Let's walk over there. Look, this isn't even the wing. This is like a separate thing. This is like above the admin building. It probably connects again, though. Through windows. Second floor center. So that might is very well be, this is totally another floor in the center part. I don't want to go up there. That staircase is sketch. Like this one is at least level. This one is tilting. Yeah, that, that's ready to fall. Yeah. This is not gonna go anywhere, it's just gonna be a room. There's no floor. <laughs> There's, it's three floors, this building, for sure. Okay. But it's just rubble. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is past exploring. I can't even open the door past this because of yeah. the stuff in the way. They're not moving. Go for it. <laughs> Scraping all the lead off. There's probably no way to cross through the basement, but let's try it. Let's just try it. There's a uh, privacy curtains here. This goes up to that room with the wall. We were walking on top of this. Yeah. That's probably the bus leaving. Oh, here's an exit, yeah. So there is nowhere to go down here. If we want to get to the other wing, we're going to have to go out of the Probably building. Past that sign where it says danger asbestos. Yeah. We're going to have to go outside of the building and then in again. Yeah. Let's go back up. It's freezing down here. And when we were checking this building out, there was no one driving around. But now, there seems to be a lot of activity. That's collapsed, like, as far as I can see. Yeah. Uh, no yeah, do you want us to go to another building? Yeah. Okay, so we're done in this building. We're going to see if we can get past the collapse from outside. And if not, we're going to head to the next building, which will get really dicey because that's closer to some active buildings and we've been seeing a lot of cars driving around. And this building deserves that double X, the double cross. <laughs> there were cars driving on this road while we were in there, so it's a little risky being out here. It's pretty 
sick. Yeah. You need it. Carrying a stick. Wow. Ground's so uneven. Yeah. Made it to the morgue. It was a risky hike there, but we made it. The skylights are amazing. The lights are cool. It's probably one of the most unique morgues out there. Yeah. The actual morgue freezers are right over here. And that is an old looking gurney right there. Still moves freely. Does turning this make them go? Yeah, but they're kind of jammed up. They're supposed to move a lot more, I'm sure. It's like the focus of it. Check it out. It says New York State Department of Mental Hygiene. That was what it was called up until like the 90s. That sounds like such a dated way of saying it now. Of course, these are castle lights. Probably one of the most common forms of medical lights back in the day. Tissue Tech 3, unique cassette. I wonder what these were for. This is one of the coolest looking stretchers I've seen. And it looks like they could tilt the whole thing upright because there's wheels on the bottom there. Or maybe it's so you can detach it from the top yeah. and then wheel it. This is an old creepy morgue, that's for sure. Due to the limited daylight hours during winter, we didn't have any more time to film, so we decided to come back another day to explore a different building. During the summer, the buildings were enveloped in overgrowth. Entrance is a little bit sketchy. Man. Yeah. Still better than going through this. 
That would have been terrible. How much we can get to from here? Majority of the building's probably that way. You're kidding. I don't know. I think it just curves here. Yeah. It jogs right. There's tin ceiling here too. This room's in rough shape too. Oh, it's really just the pressed tin falling down actually. Okay. The rest of it seems okay. intact. Barrels of flammable something. Oh my god, is that the main hallway? Is that the main hallway? If so, we're not exploring this building. There's nothing left to explore. How does the floor look above you? It's there. So you think if we get up to the second floor, we can explore that? Possibly. Wow. You can see the original knob and tube wiring exposed. The floor is half gone in this room too anyway. We gotta go back outside. We've reached a dead end. Look at the wall up there. And the ceiling. The bricks are all down here. It's not looking fun. great. There's holes everywhere. I can see three floors up. Here's the other side of where we were standing before. The floor I'm standing on right now could be the next to go. Up. It'd be pretty risky. Ah, uh, here's the stairs. We could right here. Yeah, right on the other side of the collapsed floor. I don't know if it's worth the risk though. <sighs> yeah, this floor is messed up. Go upstairs, I guess. How the stairs itself. All right, the ceiling over here looked intact, so in theory, stairs are the most solid thing in this the building. Floors up here should be intact too. But appearances can be deceiving. My guess is that the first floor had everything stored in it, and this is going to be empty. The floor is undulating a lot. Yeah. I don't know if I would just walk across it. As long as it's not creaking. Oh, here's stairs, like actual ward stairs.
crazy that the exterior walls are giving way as well. It's just gonna demolish itself. There's some more original knob and tube wiring through here. There's some showers in this room. The ceiling details are definitely one of the best parts of this building. This square is where the original chandelier would have been. Yeah. Into the next ward. I don't think there's going to be much of it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is not good shape. Jeez. That one door that's just floating above. It's green. Not really a good way to get around this no, place. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go unless we go outside again. Probably. Do you want to try that at least through the main entryway? Yeah, sure. Okay. Look at the third floor stairs. Yeah, I'm not going up there. Even, even trying to walk across this floor, very questionable. This was the center of the building right here? No, this is on the floor. This is the back of it. So I at least get you falling to your death on camera. It's actually pretty soft. Okay. Yeah. This is the front door right here. It's not very grand. Then again, this wasn't really a main building. Yeah, this is the main lobby. The second floor is looking gone. Don't think much is left. The fact that there's bricks coming inside means an exterior wall is falling in. It's not really anywhere to go. No. Should be careful. Yeah. I wish I had my gloves. It doesn't look like there's a floor over here. It's the whole fucking window frame. No floor? No, it's like, it's rubble in there. Okay. Um, should I keep going forward in here? I have, I have to like crawl idea. through this shit then. Yeah, I really don't know. Once we get past this, it's good. This looks like the best ward yet. Really? From the one room I'm looking at here. You know what sucks? What? My tripod is like two wings back. <laughs> that sign that says destination back there is pretty cool looking. Looks really uh, yeah. old. Not going over there though. 
There's a, a bed here. This room has a lot of chairs. The tin ceiling in here is almost completely gone, yeah. yet there's none on the floor. They must have cleaned it for some reason. Yeah. I mean, this side was walled off. Maybe this was the side they were using. It's collapsed in these rooms and starting to in this hallway. Look at the toilet in there. It's being held up just by the pipe. Got some medicine cups. Oh, there's old computers right there. And you're about to be swallowed up by the building. Piece of building just fell in my back. This room has a few beds. Yeah. yeah. A lot of beds. This is where they stashed them. The bed storage room. And this ceiling has been modernized in here as well. This ward still has the tin ceiling yeah. for now. This ward there's pieces of older beds here. Hopefully there's one fully put together somewhere. Yeah, these are old bed head and footers. X-rays. Moving on them. Let's see. Really faded through. They're all collapsing into the basement. I think that might just be a bad X-ray. There's a bone here. Yeah. It's try like a different one. Age. Here, try one more. Oh. Yeah, they're just fucked. Not seeing anything. That's something actually down the middle. That's like a rib cage and a spine. Yeah, they're just too rough. Oh, it's a cool bathroom. Oh, of course it's tagged up. I don't know. You can still get a good shot here. Yeah, I really like this floor. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely worth a photo. I'm gonna have to crawl all the way back to that shit just to get my tripod and come back here though. Yeah, um, the Kool-Aid guy must have been here. That almost feels unnatural. Like I mean, really just collapse the two like straight sections are where windows were. Yeah, it was probably just a big window. Were there two windows? Oh yeah, close together. 
where are they coming from? Oh, he going. He's going fast. He's falling. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know those things could move that fast. <laughs> Me either. It's a cool looking valve. Look how they just ghetto wire these lights up here. Yeah, it's also the only ward with ugly things like these. All right, it's time to gamble with our lives again. mildly concerning. This looks super nice because all the light coming from there is slightly greener. That's a prime chair just chilling too. You won't be chilling for much longer. Not if Mother Nature has its way. There's a hole in the same spot above the hole below it. So that wall is collapsing all the way down. The bricks have just given out in that spot. This old breaker box is pretty cool. That section is just gone all the way down. And it's starting to collapse in the hallway as well. That's definitely been hanging here for decades, probably. Over the past few months, the state has been trying to secure the campus with increased police presence. However, the historic buildings have been decaying quickly, with no plans to remedy the compromised structures. <laughs> 